As an example picture, I chose a photo of bark mulch. This technique also works fine for grass, asphalt or any other sort of photo with a regular structure. First load the picture using the menu File Open. If the photo contains an embedded color profile, please confirm to let GIMP convert it to RGB. To make a picture seamless, you have to deal with the borders of the picture. You don't want to see sharp edges if you copy them side by side. To make it easier to work on these borders, we will now move the whole picture so that we have all the borders in the middle. To do that, please choose Layer, Transform, Offset from the menu. Now click the button Offset by X half, Y half. This will move the picture halfway to the right and up. while edge behavior wrap around will make sure that the rest of the picture is not lost but wrapped around from the other side. If you now choose a zoom factor of 100% you can see how the edges meet in the middle. So to speak we just have moved the problem from the outer edges to the middle of the picture. The good news is you can now edit these hard edges easily using the clone tool. Choose a scale size that is comfortable for you to work. If you need more information on how to use the clone tool, please watch the other video tutorial about retouching pictures. For the alignment, you can use none or aligned depending on what is more comfortable for you to use. If you are not sure what you like best, just try out both and experiment with them for a while. Now touch up these hard edges as you have learned in the other tutorial. Select a source using Ctrl mouse click, then paint over all you want to fix in the image. Make sure the painted regions will not become too regular try to change the source from time to time. To avoid hard edges in the first place, try the fuzzy brush instead of the regular circle brush. For this particular texture, try to avoid larger dark space or large shadows. Try to clone them over if possible. You will see soon why this would be a good idea. So let's look at the entire photo. You can do that by choosing View, Zoom, Fit image in window. At first glance, you don't recognize any sharp edges any longer. To try out the effect on a larger surface, choose filters, map, small tiles. Choose the number of segments that you want to tile together. I'll keep the number 2 for the moment. Now you see the photo two times copied side by side. If you look carefully, you'll still be able to see a very regular pattern, which is not desired for a good seamless texture. For example, you'll find this shadow that repeats in the pattern. To fix this problem, you just undo the last filter by pressing Ctrl Z on the keyboard or by choosing Edit Undo from the menu. I'll paint over all the visible regions that show noticeable shadows. Mm -hmm. 
now the texture is much more regular. Let's look how it works if you apply small tiles again. To do this, just choose the last used filter from the filter menu. It shows up as the first option in the menu. As you can see, the shadow pattern is now gone. But this larger piece of wood is still disturbing the regular pattern a little bit. So let's undo the last filter again and remove this piece of wood. The result is now a quite regular pattern. If you are satisfied with the result, just undo the last small tile filter and save the file.